Hello guys, thank you for coming over to watch this video. This is Alan with Hernandez Affordable Products. On today's video guys, I uh, came across this uh, HP monitor. I actually liked uh, the design of it. Uh, personally for me, um, when I had it in the table and I was working with it uh, on another computer, I really like how it sat down on the uh, table. It really has this simple, sleek, um, not too thick when you look at a design overall. Um, and I was very surprised to, you know, the, 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 the color options and the display itself, it was uh, pretty decent. So uh, subscribe if you're new here. I do product reviews like this on different uh, products, computers, tablets, anything that I'm either working on uh, for my IT business or uh, products that I'm just sort of sharing with you that I'm keeping that I got for me or a customer. And so um, you'll get a lot of that in the channel, guys. So make sure to subscribe. And for those of you who've been watching some of my videos, thanks so much for tuning in to another one. This one is gonna be interesting. If you're looking for a monitor, you don't want to spend too much, you may like this one. So let's jump right in, guys. All right, the very first thing that I personally liked about the overall design, guys, is that it's completely black. You, you can definitely see that from the beginning of the video, um, from the front entirely. Um, all the way around it, everything is completely black. I thought that that was very unique. Um, there's no need to, you know, give it a color combination and then you might regret that choice later. But overall, black completely, I personally do like. And then especially when you have the LED light right here in the front indicating that it's on, that really looks well with the black. Me though, as far as design goes, wasn't really too thrilled with the uh, HP logo. I'll bring you a little closer. It's one of those flat written color on there, painted whatever into the surface and not one of those, um, you know, those really high elegant looking sort of logos you see in some of their uh, HP products. So again, not a big deal. You still have it in the front, but you know, give me, give me, give me something a little bit more uh, fancy. Something that I thought was pretty unique too on the design, you'll see all around the edges, maybe you can see it from that angle, if not, I'll try to rotate this very carefully, slowly, uh, but you'll see all around the edge, it has this unique separation, you'll see it, if I bring you a little closer, from the screen and the actual, you know, frame, the bezel itself is different. So that's pretty cool there, but overall, when you look at the thickness of the monitor, looking at it from different angles, it's not thick at all. One other thing that now that we're talking about design and first impression pretty quickly, uh, the stand I think was, was good, at least for me and many others may agree with this, I do like a monitor to have this open space here so that you can maybe put some things on there and at least have enough space to allow you to do that and this definitely offers that big enough space for you to put some um, some notes some sticky notes or whatever you know some of your little notepads whatever you use in the office definitely that would do the trick um, one more thing about the uh, features and the overall uh, first impression it does do the tilt uh, on the monitor that's pretty much all it does right forward and backwards which i think is enough for some people if we, if we do it from the front right you have enough i think in whichever angle you're sitting to really enjoy that so there's no left or right this is not a, a smart tv or anything so again is good enough that it allows it to do that where all the monitors in this price range might not even offer that tilt option so that was pretty unique um in terms of you know, what the actual display is, this is going to be LED. You can even see it from the uh, screen itself. It's not too glossy. So again, LED is what you have here. It's not plasma or uh, anything like that or LCD itself. It's going to be LED uh, backlit uh, LCD monitors, basically what you have here. So the resolution's 
on the monitor um, this is going to be for start off let's let's cover that it's going to be a 20 inch right so that's what this is most of you a 20 inch is big enough this in my opinion is going to be big enough for most people but if you want to go something bigger then of course this might not be the one for you but if you want to stay within the 20 inch range not too thick not too big or too small this i think has a great overall design um something to 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 also know about the display is that it's got the widescreen 16 by 9 feature so definitely you can see that on the uh, screen itself is a wide screen so that's a great thing I personally like the wide screen instead of having that square looking screen that you see on some monitors so that was cool too we're gonna touch up a little bit uh, on some of the features in the back here since that's where most of the action is really gonna happen the overall resolution on a 20 inch like this considering the features of the display you have about 1600 by 900. So that's, in my opinion, a pretty good resolution to have a great picture of whatever you're doing, whether watching a video or um, just playing in the wallpaper with some applications, whatever it is, definitely gonna give you a great resolution. Especially if you have Windows 10, this thing should handle that very, very nicely. Um, you'll see on the very back here, let's couple that since we're looking at the design. That should be close enough for you guys there. But we have your, your uh, VGA, you have one of those. You have a DVI, I'm sorry, this is gonna be our DVI and this is gonna be our VGA. There's, this VGA connection is pretty old, I have to be honest, but at least it gives you that DVI option. One, because it's, it's upgraded. From this one most people use it but also too when you're uh, installing an adapter from DVI to HDMI like say if you have one of those computers DVI is going to adapt better than um, you know the VGA connection so that is an option I really like that it gives me two but then one more thing you have an audio uh, connection in the back as well so that was really unique now, overall, this monitor, guys, is going to be, as expected, uh, plug and play. There's no special drivers. Uh, you don't got to upload uh, this software that you got to download somewhere online. No, you just plug it into your DVI or VGA connection. Whether you even use the HDMI adapter, it's just plug it in, turn on your computer, and there you have it. It adapts automatically to the resolution of, you know, your uh, windows in this case, whatever you have set to. Unless if it's not set to anything, it should automatically just give you that uh, resolution. Another thing to keep in mind that this is only going to consume about 26 uh, W as far as the power consumption goes. So overall, again, it's a 20 inch, but for those of you who just want something simple on a budget, affordable, Overall, a great design, not too thick. I get the tilt option. I mean, this is something to consider if you're looking for something new and simple. This is something that you might like. So always look at the links in the description, guys, because uh, the offer changes depending on if it's on Amazon or if I have it personally or uh, somewhere else that, you know, has a good uh, offer but not just that a lot of times these things sell out and there might not be any more on one of the different marketplaces but I'll take you directly to where they are at to make it easier for you so if you like this monitor any other product any other video that you watched look at the links on the description if you want to get one for yourself um, let's wrap it up here guys and some of the uh, user controls very very important on a monitor personally and a lot of people definitely will agree with this is, what are some of the options that I have to play with the monitor when I'm changing it around? So as far as the options go, you'll see that on the bottom here of the uh, monitor, you have the different buttons for the power, for the volume, and of course, your menu option. So all that is right there in the front, and you don't really see it, which is another unique thing about the all black design, where to me it looks seamless. There is nothing on it other than the LED to the right. But some of the key uh, controls that you have is the brightness, uh, the contrast, the positioning, right? The temperature. Uh, you can see all those things that display. You should have those menu uh, and those options right within the monitor software like you'll have on, you know, your regular 
uh, monitor. But overall, guys, I think that this is great. Wanted to share that with you. If you agree, get one for yourself. Post your comments, anything you'd like to share. Um, also, one more thing, as mentioned in the beginning, if you're just watching the video for the first time, I create videos like this every now and then. So make sure to subscribe, guys, so you don't miss out on new upcoming videos. Hit the notification bell, too. So as I release those videos, you guys are the first ones to know. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Look forward to our next video.